but this fridge is going to need to be cleaned out today. It's not even cold at all. Yes, and today it's just, it's just out. All this food needs to be <laughs> thrown away and it stinks so bad. <laughs> Hey you guys, if we are all being honest, <laughs> we're on the struggle bus this summer when it comes to practicing. Um, so this morning our fridge went out and I started to think, oh my goodness, like I couldn't even function for like the first part of the day because I thought like everything that I prepped ahead for breakfast is in there. What am I gonna do if I make anything else? there's any extra I can't put it in the fridge so I just went and got breakfast um, but this fridge is going to need to be cleaned out today it's not even cold at all sort of uh, been going on and off for the last I don't know two days I guess and today it's just it's just out all this food needs to be <laughs> thrown away and it stinks so bad <laughs> Um, I still have not fully regained my smell from COVID. So the fact that the fridge smells to me is like, oh, I know, I know it really stinks. But I am trying to rethink <laughs> how I feel about this situation and still focus on being able to practice today. So I'm gonna share with you guys some tips for how you can manage to still practice, still accomplish your goals when things come up or maybe your schedule looks a little bit different than it normally does, which usually happens during the summer. How is everybody? Today I'm gonna to be talking about how to find practice time during the summer months for a lot of us. These summer months are a little bit of a different schedule, whether it's because you work at a school, give me a thumbs up if that's you, or maybe you have kids in your house who go to school and they are now home all the time. Um, maybe your spouse is a teacher. That would be an interesting uh, variable. Um, maybe you do music for youth camps and camp meetings. And so even though your work schedule hasn't changed, you're um, adding a little bit more to your schedule, having to practice more, having to learn more songs, having to coordinate things, which can be a whole nother job in itself. So as you guys are joining today, if you will let me know what your summer looks like. Does it look different than your normal schedule? Because that's what we are talking about today. Hey, Sheila. Hey, Mariah. Hey, you guys. So let me know in the comments below. Okay, the first thing that you want to identify when you are going into the summer months is you need to identify what is changing. And you guys can let me know in the comments. Is your schedule changing? Are you going, like I said, from teaching to not teaching? Um, or maybe you have people who are now at home more in your house that weren't before. Um, so your schedule is still changing a little bit. Maybe you have more distractions because you do have people in and out of the house and you either work from home or you um, have other responsibilities. So those distractions can kind of throw you off a little bit. Um, Seth says, I think that says Seth, I need my glasses. Ethan says, definitely more busy with events. Trinity says, working longer hours at my job since school is out. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that is, that is a little bit of a different um situation there. We have busier schedule ministry wise. Yes. Summers can be that way. I might have to hold this mic because all of a sudden it wants to fall. I'm not really a piano teacher, but I have been playing keys for several years. So I have two events for June. I have to play for to start off the summer. <laughs> I'm out of breath just listening to you guys talk about what you have to do. Okay. So one of the biggest things that you have to do is identify what is changing. Just know that your life is not going to be the same as it was last month when you were probably killing it with your practice schedule. Trinity said also playing for youth camps. Yes, yes, yes. And then the second thing is you need to decide what you want to accomplish. Are you wanting to practice and learn new things this summer? Do you even have that bandwidth? Okay, it's okay to be honest with yourself because a lot of times what happens, and I think this mostly applies to women, you guys can chime in if you um, don't think that's true, I'm totally fine with that, but is we tend to have these expectations in our minds 
that are so unrealistic and we don't when we don't meet these unrealistic expectations we beat ourselves up and we get so discouraged that we don't do anything at all have you guys ever felt that yes 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 so let me know in the comments what do you want to accomplish this summer in your playing are you wanting to learn anything new i'm going to move this camera down a little bit are you just kind of in survival mode you have to learn new songs for youth camp you have to um, be ready for camp meeting maybe your choir singing at camp meeting and you have to prepare for that okay maybe that's all you have the bandwidth for and that's okay but you need to identify what you want to accomplish maybe you just want to play the piano this summer I just want to take a few days a week and sit down and play the piano so that I don't get rusty maybe that's your goal I don't want to get rusty Trinity says I want to practice on gaining more skills. Okay, that's good. Mainly little extra stuff for my playing that I can incorporate into my playing. Okay, that's a very good goal. I'm going to give you some tips on how to do that. Um, maybe you want to learn something new every month or I would say biweekly. I wouldn't recommend trying to learn something new every week because as you guys saw today in my stories, life happens. Okay, maybe your refrigerator goes out like mine did and you have to unload the whole thing. Uh, guys, I still don't have my smell from COVID and I can smell it. Like I don't have my smell fully. Things still smell weird to me and it, oh, that fridge stinks so bad. <laughs> so, but that's something that has come up and I have to address it if the fridge, well, even if the fridge does get fixed, I still have to address it. So deciding what you want to accomplish. Okay, so if you're wanting to learn some new tricks, you're wanting to gain some new skills, you need to have a plan because you're going to have days like today that happen. And then when you sit down to practice, it's like, okay, now I have to decide what to practice. And I've already had to decide, you know, can the fridge be fixed? Who do I call? Where did I buy it from? Is it under warranty? And your decision fatigue is setting in your bandwidth is kind of going down. Um, so use a practice schedule. Here's my recommendation that doesn't track your time. Okay, I'm not trying to track, did I practice 30 minutes yesterday? Did I practice 30 minutes today? That doesn't matter. I, that silence was for emphasis. That doesn't matter. What matters is that you are consistent in whatever you do. And consistency doesn't mean that you practice 30 minutes every day or 10 minutes every day. Consistency means that if today I don't get to practice, then I do it again. It's just that you're not quitting. That's what real consistency is. Bethany says, I want to get comfortable with feels and want it to feel natural. That is a great goal. And you can totally accomplish that by the end of the summer. So if you guys are on our email list, I'm trying to hold my microphone and grab this piece, piece of paper. We send out a practice schedule every month. Okay. And you can fill out the month and fill out the dates for whatever uh, month that you are on. And the goal of this practice schedule is just for you to check off when you play your piano. So you don't have to be learning anything new. You can play an old song that you learned 25 years ago. You can learn something new. Um, it can be a 30 minute practice session. It can be a five minute practice session. It can be a 15 minute practice session. You're just checking off that I played the piano that day. That is your goal, okay? I recommend practicing at least 15 minutes. I, I don't want to say at least. I, meant, I recommend practicing 15 minutes. Today I practiced five minutes, okay, because that's what I felt like I could accomplish and walk away from feeling like, okay, I did this today. Do that three days a week. You check it off the days that you practice. And at the end of the month, you're going to look back at your progress on this schedule. And you're going to see instead of, oh, man, I missed all these days. That's not the goal because you're going to miss days. That's what consistency looks like is you do miss days. But then you start again. But you're going to see that at least three days a week, I touched my piano. Okay. And that's going to give you the energy to keep going now. If you're setting goals for yourself like Trinity is going to do, I want you to only set no more than three goals. If you can set one, that's even better because it's easier to focus on one goal than it is two or three. 
Because if you're like me, your mind gets scattered and you practice the first goal yesterday and then today you practice the second goal and then uh, you don't practice the next day and then the next day um, you want to change your goals. <laughs> so focus on one goal. So maybe you are trying to learn a fill-in. Okay, so I want you to focus on that one fill-in until you accomplish it. And maybe it takes you less than a month to accomplish that. Maybe you accomplish it and you really um, feel like you can add it to songs within two weeks. Then you can move on to a new fill. Okay, so what I did today in my five-minute practice time is I sat down and I'm playing through an old song that I've known for years. And um, I learned a new chord with this song, a new chord of voicing. And what I did is I took that chord voicing, it was on the four chord, and I added it to other songs I already knew. So I opened Planning Center and I just went through the list of songs that are on Planning Center. I started playing through them. Oh, this song has a four chord. Oh, this song has a four chord. And so I started playing that voicing in those songs. So what my practice time did I'm practicing smarter, not harder. My practice time actually started to change the way I play because I'm not beating myself up over the head um, because I didn't learn this entire song, right? I'm not focusing on that. I was just focusing on one thing, changing the way that I play, learning that one chord, that new feel, and then adding it to every song I know, playing it in every key I can think of. That's how you really change the way that you play. Okay, it's easy to get discouraged when you're learning one song and, you know, it takes you four or five weeks to really, really get it and play it without feeling like you're faking it. You guys know what I mean. And then you finally, uh, usually after we sing a song in church, that's when I really feel like I finally have it afterwards. <laughs> so <laughs> learning that practice time may look different for everybody depends on what your season is. If you are through the summer having to learn a bunch of new songs for camps and youth camps, it's okay for that to be your practice time, okay? Because you're keeping your skill up, you're developing um, your ability to learn new songs and to remember new songs, which is, I feel like, a whole nother skill when it comes to being a musician or a singer. Hey, Jasmine. And um, let that be your goal for the summer. Maybe that's through the end of June and then maybe July you don't really have any events so you can focus on learning something new, okay? But whatever your season is right now for the summer, don't set your goals so high that you can't accomplish them, okay? So I want you to take a realistic look at the three things I mentioned or the two things I mentioned, identify what's changing, and then decide what you want to accomplish. When you decide those two things, then you can move forward in a way where the summer will really serve you and you'll look back and say, oh, I was able to accomplish something this summer and I don't feel like burned out and overwhelmed because the summer just passed me by and here I was feeling overwhelmed the entire summer because something was happening every week. I promise it's going to happen to everybody. You're going to have something happen um, and your schedule is going to get out of whack. So just know that's normal. It's not a sign that you need to quit. It's not a sign that playing isn't for you. It's just life. So I hope these tips helped you. I'd love for you guys to keep me updated on how your summer practice is going. If you're feeling encouraged, if you are inspired, if you're learning something new, or maybe you just had a week where it's like, huh, what did I learn this week? Every practice time was um, not what I expected. Those times are going to happen, okay? I want to encourage you guys. You're going to have those seasons, but what's important is that you keep going, okay? So let me know. DM me um, on Instagram. You can keep up with me on Facebook as well, and I will respond to your messages because I want you guys to continue to grow through the summer. I want you to, even if it's slow, you may be moving at a tortoise pace, which is totally fine. Keep moving toward those goals, the calling that God's placed in your life. Summertime is a great opportunity to um, change it up, change up your practice time, maybe make it a little more fun for yourself, and to keep your eye on the goal. All right, you guys, if nobody's told you today, you have what it takes to be an incredible musician. God has given you this gift and desire, and it's our job to steward it, and you are doing that. That's why you're here today. I'm going to sign off. I will see you guys later. Bye, everybody. 
So if those tips helped you, please give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to this channel for more encouragement on consistently getting better on the piano. Here's how I'm gonna turn this situation around. I've been wanting to buy fridge organizers for a while. So whether we keep this fridge or have to get a new one, I'm going to totally organize it, which is my thing I love to do. I'm gonna buy organizers for fruit and leftovers and all that kind of stuff. So when we buy more food to put back in the fridge, it looks nice and organized. And that makes me excited and happy. It's an easier way for me to look at it rather than to think, oh my goodness, I have to dump all this food and throw it away. <laughs> so uh, thank you, Lord, for helping me. Um, if nobody's told you today, guys, you have what it takes to be an incredible musician. I hope me sharing these tips shows you that we're all in the same boat. There are days when it's just like, oh my goodness, I, I can't believe that this happened. Um, but it's gonna happen, it happens to all of us. And the most important thing is that you keep moving forward.